We value all of you. We value our children. We value our moms, our grandmoms. But today, it's about dads. It's about how important our dads are in our lives. We recognize and value the importance of being a dad and being an active dad. An active dad being involved in your child's education. My name is John and I work for Brockton Public Schools. And one of our commitments is to strengthen our family engagement. We want to work with you, not only for you, but with you. And build and strengthen our collaboration. I must, must thank Dr. Presame Calix for her tireless effort in strengthening our community partnerships and our family engagement. And my good friend Paolo Lates as well. They are why we are here today and how we pulled this off. All of this is because of these two standing to my left. So I want to publicly thank them for their dedication and their tireless effort to this event and many, many more. I want to thank our friends at the Cape Verdean Association, my new best friend Lou, um, and others from the Cape Verdean Association that worked really, really hard as well, Tatiana. Um, Carlos, who's going to be singing in a little while. Paolo, who's going to be singing um, and playing music for us. Um, our friends at Trotwells that donated some food, our community folks that donated food. Uh, there was a lot of effort into this event, but guess what? You're worth it. We want to recognize dads and really emphasize how important you are in your children's lives. And I know you know that, but we wanted to recognize that. And we want to do more things that um, show our appreciation and our love and how we value fathers. So that's why we're all here today. Um, I'm going to pass it over to our friends to my left, um, but thanks all of you for being here. We're going to have fun. You'll dance and, and we'll listen to music and people will sing and perform and we'll have a good few hours and there's food that we're going to turn to and we're going to ask our kids to speak and talk about how valuable and, and how important their dads are in their lives. We're going to have arts and crafts and kids are going to make something to take home that recognizes their dads. And then we want to do more of this. So thank you very much. I'm, I'm speaking way too long. I'm going to pass it over to our friends. Thank you. Thanks, John. Good morning. Good morning. Come on. Thank you so much. I am truly honored to be here. Truly, it's really not because of me, but when we think about the work that we have to do. Yes, my name. I am Dr. Soraya Prisme Calixt the Parent Engagement Specialist for Brockton Public Schools. Even though I am the expert, I always say the best expert really, you parents, especially you dad. And to understand that you do have an important, impeccable meaning in the life of our children. So please, don't welcome me, I welcome you. Give yourself a big hand of applause. Um, as, as you know, you know when, when I talk, talk I always want others to say a few words. So, so I'm going to ask you, please, with me you cannot be shy, because I'll ask you. And usually you oblige. <laughs> so I'm going to ask a few parents to say a few words, but again, the kids are here. Let's give them a big hand. Look at them, well behaved, supporting their dad. I know this March is, March we say, we talk about women, Women's Day, you know, celebration of women and everything. But Brockton Public School wanted to do something different. We wanted to acknowledge the effort, the support of an active dad. So thank you so much for being here. Again, the Cabernet Association, I salute you. Um, there are so many names to say. I'm not gonna say any names because I don't want you to be jealous. All right, I'll pass it on to my best friend, um, Paul the Late. Thank you everyone for coming. Thank you, Dr. Soraya. Thank you, John Snellgrove. Uh, we are so happy to have you all here. We wanted to do something special for the dads, right? The dads of, of the community. Um, so we're hoping that this will be the first of many, many opportunities, right? And moms, don't worry, we'll do something for you also in the future. But today, it's all about the dads in, uh, in our group, in our community. And we see that parents are still coming in, families are still coming in, and we're really happy to have you. We're gonna have a lot of fun today. Uh, we're going to have arts and crafts for the kids. We're going to have, well, for the whole family, right? We're going to have food in a little while. We're going to have music. Maybe I will get up and sing. We'll see. Uh, um, but we're going to have a lot of fun. So I do want to echo what uh, John and Saraya said. 
and just uh, show our appreciation for all of you for coming, for the families for being here, but especially for the dads. And for uh, Brockton uh, Community Access, right? We thank you for hosting us for this beautiful space. And for the Cape Verdean Association, thank you for so much. It's great to partner with you all, and uh, we're hoping to partner with other community organizations in the future, right? Let's work together, Brockton Public Schools and all the different community organizations. I'll say a few words in Creole, maybe? And then maybe you can say something in, in Creole. Ah, e depois vou sair introduzir outra pessoa também, George, que está atrás da câmera lá. George, daqui a pouco também diz algumas coisas no espanhol. Uh, mas queria só dizer que nós estamos muito felizes que o país que vem hoje, especialmente o país que vem hoje, parceiro na Portugal, hoje ou amanhã é dia dos pais. Hoje é dia dos pais, né? Então, uh, nós estamos a celebrar pais. Uh, Tinha uma vez, nós estamos a celebrar mães, né? Nós estamos a enfatizar mais é, mãe na comunidade, mas hoje nós queríamos dizer, não, pais, nós também é bastante importante, né? Uh, então, nós estamos contentes que nós estamos ali hoje, nós estamos contentes que a, a Associação Cabo-Verdiana também está conosco, nós estamos juntos, e Brockton Cable uh, Community Access também. Uh, obrigado, nós temos um tempo muito sábio hoje, e que este, uh, nós temos tem show, outras atividades no futuro, ok? Hoje que é o primeiro, mas nós temos outras atividades no futuro. Dr. President, Calist. Thank you. Awesome, awesome. So now I have to switch the language like that's what I need to do. Awesome. Um, which one should I go? Creole, Haitian Creole, or French? Alors, ma palette Creole. Pour d'autres parents qui viennent là aujourd'hui, hein, nous voulons dire merci. Nous comprenons que c'est pas nous-mêmes qui a fait rien vraiment même. C'est ou même qui va comprendre l'importance ou dans la vie petite ou. Chaque papa qui vient nous définit comment la vie pralier pour tout le monde nous demain si Dieu veut. Chaque papa qui est là dit moi veut investir dans petit moi parce que moi crois que il c'est avenir côté au hier quelque chose côté au sorti. Nous vivons dans un pays qui ba nous opportunité pendant la canne va ca jeune mais qu'on y a nous gagner. Alors moi dis nous merci. Tja. Il sera de dire muchísimas gracias a todos qui sont ici seulement especialement à Dieu. Le quand le yame mi arrivé aussi sur Rayac Rao que si yo yo va venir. Um, yo ya siempre ha venido a nuestras actividades y como Paolo lo ha dicho antes, es el primer, pero más a venir. Es la primera, pero hay mucho más a venir para todos los padres, para los padres haitianos. Y como yo os digo, vos allez decir algo. Encore una vez, gracias a todo el mundo. George, ¿te gustaría venir a venir y decir unas palabras? George, George, George doing the camera, but he's going to come up and say a few words. Maybe he can say some things in Spanish. Also, I know that Dr. President may also said some things in Spanish <laughs> and Haitian Creole. Let's welcome George. Hello. Happy Saturday, Brock, and welcome, everybody. Thank you for coming. Um, I'm not a dad yet. I have two cats. I think I'm here as a cat dad. Is that okay? Do I get a pass? So before I get started, I have to say first, no one's touched the food and that really bothers me. I want to at least be the second person. So please, when we're done here, let's go get some food together. Sound good? All right, thank you all for coming. Uh, we want to make sure to let people know that I'm sitting out front with information about food assistance, housing assistance. A lot of our neighbors and families around us are uh, losing their opportunity to live in the city. Uh, it's getting more costly to live in the city and we don't want any children in particular to go hungry. So any information that you would need, I'm sitting up front. And there's also a, a survey that I'm doing for a new food truck that's going to be coming to Brockton for organic foods. It's going to be going to 10 to, different, uh, 10 to 15 different sites across the city. So we're going to make sure we're taking care of each other. Uh, we're breaking bread together and really enjoying our time together. So thank you again. And let's build a better Brockton together. Y también en español para la gente que habla aquí en español, estoy aquí para ayudar a las familias con... Uh, comida y alimentos para que la gente aquí de la ciudad no pase en hambre estamos aquí juntos estamos aquí para soportar a la gente que necesita ayuda con vivienda también para que se mantengan uh, sano y en paz aquí en la ciudad de Broughton lo merecemos hacerlo juntos y lo vamos a hacer muchísimas gracias por venir y que pase buen día gracias Broughton gracias George Carlos Carlos música por favor música Carlos, tal vez crees algún cosa también. Ajá. And I'm so sorry to interrupt one last time. John asked me right before we're finished with everything, can everyone come here so where the light is good so we can all take a group picture? 
before we eat so we don't fill out the shirts a little bit more. That sound good? All right, so right over here. All the dads, please come up. We're going to take a group picture. And, and uh, just so you know, you are being uh, recorded, right, for Brockton uh, Community Access. And uh, so if anyone really doesn't want to be in the picture, just let us know, all right? <laughs> Kids, you can join us too. Please come up and join. The kids can go in front so we can see you. Maybe we can have the whole family, huh? <laughs> we value you. We value all of you. We value our children. We value our moms, our grandmoms. But today, it's about dads. It's about how important our dads are in our lives. We recognize and value the importance of being a dad and being an active dad. An active dad being involved in your child's education. My name is John and I work for Brockton Public Schools. And one of our commitments is to strengthen our family engagement. We want to work with you, not only for you, but with you and build and strengthen our collaboration. I must, must thank Dr. Presame Calix for her tireless effort in strengthening our community partnerships and our family engagement. And my good friend Paolo Lates as well. They are why we are here today and how we pulled this off. All of this is because of these two standing to my left. So I want to publicly thank them for their dedication and their tireless effort to this event and many, many more. I want to thank our friends at the Cape Verdean Association, my new best friend Lou, um, and others from the Cape Verdean Association that worked really, really hard as well, Tatiana. Um, Carlos, who's going to be singing in a little while. Paolo, who's going to be singing um, and playing music for us. Um, our friends at Chartwells that donated some food, our community folks that donated food. 
Uh, there was a lot of effort into this event, but guess what? You're worth it. We want to recognize dads and really emphasize how important you are in your children's lives. And I know you know that, but we wanted to recognize that. And we want to do more things that um, show our appreciation and our love and how we value fathers. So that's why we're all here today. Um, I'm going to pass it over to our friends to my left. Um, but thanks, all of you, for being here. We're going to have fun. You'll dance, and, and we'll listen to music, and people will sing and perform, and we'll have a good few hours. And there's food that we're going to turn to. We're going to ask our kids to speak and talk about how valuable and, and how important their dads are in their lives. We're going to have arts and crafts, and kids are going to make something to take home that recognizes their dads. And then we want to do more of this. So thank you very much. I'm, I'm speaking way too long. I'm going to pass it over to our friends. Thank you. Thanks, John. Good morning. Good morning. Come on. Thank you so much. I am truly honored to be here. Truly, it's really not because of me, but when we think about the work that we have to do. Yes, my name. I am Dr. Soraya Prisme Calixt the Parent Engagement Specialist for Brockton Public Schools. Even though I am the expert, I always say the best expert really, you parents, especially you dad. And to understand that you do have an important, impeccable meaning in the life of our children. So please, don't welcome me, I welcome you. Give yourself a big hand of applause. Um, as, as you know, you know when, when I talk, talk I always want others to say a few words. So, so I'm going to ask you, please, with me you cannot be shy, because I'll ask you. And usually you oblige. <laughs> so I'm going to ask a few parents to say a few words, but again, the kids are here. Let's give them a big hand. Look at them, well behaved, supporting their dad. I know this March is, March we say, we talk about women, Women's Day, you know, celebration of women and everything. But Rockton Public School wanted to do something different. We wanted to acknowledge the effort, the support of an active dad. So thank you so much for being here. Again, the Cabernet Association, I salute you. Um, there are so many names to say. I'm not gonna say any names because I don't want you to be jealous. All right, I'll pass it on to my best friend, um, Paul the Late. Thank you everyone for coming. Thank you, Dr. Soraya. Thank you, John Snellgrove. Uh, we are so happy to have you all here. We wanted to do something special for the dads, right? The dads of, of the community. Um, so we're hoping that this will be the first of many, many opportunities, right? And moms, don't worry, we'll do something for you also in the future. But today, it's all about the dads in, uh, in our group, in our community. And we see that parents are still coming in, families are still coming in, and we're really happy to have you. We're gonna have a lot of fun today. Uh, we're going to have arts and crafts for the kids. We're going to have, well, for the whole family, right? We're going to have food in a little while. We're going to have music. Maybe I will get up and sing. We'll see. Uh, um, but we're going to have a lot of fun. So I do want to echo what uh, John and Saraya said and just uh, show our appreciation for all of you for coming, for the families for being here, but especially for the dads. And for uh, Brockton uh, Community Access, right? We thank you for hosting us for this beautiful space. And for the Cape Verdean Association, thank you for so much. It's great to partner with you all, and uh, we're hoping to partner with other community organizations in the future, right? Let's work together, Brockton Public Schools and all the different community organizations. I'll say a few words in Creole, maybe? And then maybe you can say something in, in Creole. It was not say introduce you to so tambe, George, so tras the camera, George, the Cape Verde and Zelfon Scores in Espanol. Uh, I'm going to say that we're very happy that the país that we have today, especially the país that we have today, is in Portugal today or tomorrow is the Day of the Pais. Today is the Day of the Pais, right? So we're going to celebrate the Pais. Uh, we're going to celebrate the Pais, we're going to uh, emphasize more the Pais in the community, but today we're going to say that the Pais is also very important. Então, não está contente que eu estou ali hoje, não está contente que a, a Associação Cabo Verdeana também está conosco, nos está junto, e Brockton Cable uh, Community Access também. Uh, obrigado, não sei ter um tempo muito sábio hoje, e que este, uh, não está tendo show, outras atividades no futuro, ok? Hoje que é o primeiro, mas não sei ter outras atividades no futuro. Dr. President, Calixto. Thank you. Awesome, awesome. 
So now I have to switch the language leg. That's what I need to do. Awesome. Um, which one should I go? Creole, Haitian Creole, or French? Alors, ma palette Creole. Pour d'autres parents qui viennent là aujourd'hui, hein, nous voulons dire merci. Nous comprenons que ce n'est pas nous-mêmes qui ne faisons rien vraiment, c'est nous-mêmes qui capable de comprendre l'importance de dans la vie petite. Ou. Chaque papa qui vient, nous définit comment la vie pour aller pour tout le monde nous demain, si Dieu veut. Chaque papa qui est là dit que je veux investir dans petit moins parce que je crois que c'est l'avenir côté où il y a, quelque chose côté où il Nous venons dans un pays qui a une opportunité pendant la canne de la jeune. Mais quand il y a une autre chose, alors je dis merci. Ciao. Je voudrais dire merci à tous ceux qui sont ici, seulement à Dieu. Quand je l'ai dit, je suis là, je crois que c'est là que je vais venir. Yo ya siempre ha venido a nuestras actividades y como Paolo lo ha dicho antes, es el primer, pero más a venir. Es la primera, pero hay mucho más a venir para todos los padres, para los padres haitianos. Y como yo os digo, vos vais a decir algo. Encore una vez, gracias a todo el mundo. George, ¿te gustaría venir a venir y decir unas palabras? George, George George doing the camera, but he's going to come up and say a few words. Maybe he can say some things in Spanish. Also, I know that Dr. President may also said some things in Spanish. <laughs> and Haitian Creole. Let's welcome George. Hello. Happy Saturday, Brock, and welcome, everybody. Thank you for coming. Um, I'm not a dad yet. I have two cats. I think I'm here as a cat dad. Is that okay? Do I get a pass? So before I get started, I have to say first, no one's touched the food and that really bothers me. I want to at least be the second person. So please, when we're done here, let's go get some food together. Sound good? All right, thank you all for coming. Uh, we want to make sure to let people know that I'm sitting out front with information about food assistance, housing assistance. A lot of our neighbors and families around us are uh, losing their opportunity to live in the city. Uh, it's getting more costly to live in the city and we don't want any children in particular to go hungry. So any information that you would need, I'm sitting up front. And there's also a, a survey that I'm doing for a new food truck that's going to be coming to Brockton for organic foods. It's going to be going to 10 to, different, uh, 10 to 15 different sites across the city. So we're going to make sure we're taking care of each other. Uh, we're breaking bread together and really enjoying our time together. So thank you again. And let's build a better Brockton together. Y también en español para la gente que habla aquí en español, estoy aquí para ayudar a las familias con... Uh, comida y alimentos para que la gente aquí de la ciudad no pase en hambre estamos aquí juntos estamos aquí para soportar a la gente que necesita ayuda con vivienda también para que se mantengan uh, sanos y en paz aquí en la ciudad de Broughton lo merecemos hacerlo juntos y lo vamos a hacer muchísimas gracias por venir y que pase buen día gracias Broughton gracias George Carlos Carlos música por favor música Carlos, tal vez crees algún cosa también. Ajá. And I'm so sorry to interrupt one last time. John asked me right before we're finished with everything, can everyone come here so where the light is good so we can all take a group picture? Before we eat, so we don't fill out the shirts a little bit more. That sound good? All right, so right over here. All the dads, please come up. We're going to take a group picture. And, and uh, just so you know, you are being uh, recorded, right, for Brockton uh, Community Actions. And uh, so if anyone really doesn't want to be in the picture, just let us know, all right? <laughs>
There is a lot going on right now. However, I would like to welcome a few kids. I know they are doing some selfies. I see you guys. Mm -hmm, I see. Uh, what would be the best way to put the mic for the kids to do Okay. Take it out. There's no this was All right, guys. Um, I know we, we promised that you guys are going to be eating, right? And then I love the fact that you guys are connecting with one another. Please do me a favor. Do not leave here without having a, phone, a new phone, phone number. Dad, you're going to connect with one another. Many of you say, Sarah, I don't have anyone to talk to. This is your opportunity. So no one, I'm going to check. Okay, so, so find a friend, and you are here today, when you talk to other dads, tell them this is what's going on in Brockton, this is what we are doing. Now, I'm going to ask Melissa to come forward. She's going to say, she has a poem, she wrote it herself for her dad. So, as you know, in Brockton, that rich culture that we have, we speak so many languages, as we displayed earlier. So, I think she, hers is going to be in French, I think. So, that, Mr. Oble. Monsieur Ex Professeur Exumé, vous parlez? Oh, I see some of you doing what I ask you. Yay! Yeah! Awesome. Be quiet, please. Let's listen to her. It's going to be in French. Yeah, you can take up the mask. Oh, Dieu, Dieu, aide-moi et ma famille. Ne nous pas en danger. Comme je t'aime, papi. Je parle de Dieu et il nous comme ça, il nous aidera. J'aime mon père, son match. Quand je pense à lui, il me donne des cadeaux. Je t'aime beaucoup. Bravo! Oh! <laughs> Melissa, I like it. Um, she wrote in French to say how much she cares and loves um, her dad. And most of the things that she said, I think she likes that she's, he's giving him a lot of gifts, right? <laughs> All right, the next person is Carl. Carl, the brother is coming. So we'll go with the French one first, then we'll go to other languages. Kayla, I know you're next. Wait. Oh les pères, que tout le monde de Dieu, oh les pères, aime tout le monde de la terre. Seigneur, bénis tes pères à la fin. On n'a pas vu, allez, village. Bonne fête, papi. Awesome, 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 awesome. It's coming, guys. You gotta get ready. I have Esther. Hey, here she is. Yes, Esther, come on, guys. Kayla. They, they are shy. Nah, I, I cannot believe that. Here. So speak up, because the TV's right here. They are looking at you. All right? And then you can take off your mask. Oh, come, come over. Here we go. Thank you. Thank you, Dad. Always ready to give me a hand, making me laugh when I'm sad, helping me with math problems I didn't understand. Thank you for loving me, no matter how good or bad I was. These are just a few reasons why I love you. And one phrase to say it all is thank you. Hey Dad, today I want you to write this poem for you because you are special for me. Today I would like to say happy Father's Day, even if it's not Father's Day. I'm very glad that you're in my life. 
You're always here for me when I need you. You make me feel special. You always remind me that I'm strong, smart, and beautiful. You are the best dad in the whole world. Thank you for being here with me, and thank you for making me believing in me. I love you, Dad, and I will always love you, and nobody can replace you. I hope you have a nice life. Love you. Roses are red, violets are blue. I have a dad that loves me too. Always be with me through the bad and good. We love you dads everywhere. Thank you for all you, all your support. Mr. Joshua. My dad is cool. I got reason to prove. One, he finishes work like it's his work. Two, he makes food for all of us. Then he says it's nothing much. Three, and finally, he looks clean. Oh, you know what? Sir, I know you don't like that, but I'm gonna do that. I know that, guys, let's give a hand to all the kids right now, right? So, as I mentioned, I'm gonna call you, and he's the next, he's the first victim. So, I know being a dad can be challenging at times. So could you please share what you have learned so far being a dad and what one word of wisdom that you would like to share with others? Uh, to me, I think being a dad is, um, you have a responsibility as a parent to mold your child to become respectable citizen in the world. I think that's primary your job. And second is, is the bond that you are forming with your child. It's very important to active in their life, to treat them with fairness and kindness, and also to provide that financial, social, economical relationship to build. Because as a dad, you are the hero, you are the role model. You should be there for them, bad times, good times, show them love, and uh, as I say, to provide that social, emotional uh, relationship that they need any time they need. So you're going to be the rock of the family, the hero, the unsung hero, to be there for them as they grew up to be respectable citizens of the world. Thank you. I told you, it should be expected. Same question. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Jay. I mean, look at the room. It seems like I'm maybe the youngest dad here, and I it seems like I have a lot to learn. So, uh, but um, I mean, being a dad is awesome because I mean, every day I wake up, there's like it's like a box full of surprise. You don't know what they're going to throw at you. <laughs> I mean, I'm learning a lot, and. Um, I'll say like raising my ch children the right way is the best thing to do because they'll be like the best version of you if you know how to, you know, ri ri uh, uh, to raise them like the way it should be, um, you know, with all the, the, I mean, those words that we're leaving now, especially with the digital words. We don't want to be too digital. Uh, we have to pull them aside sometimes to give them, you know, a one-on-one -on -one dad. Uh, kind of grow up thing, so that's the kind of education I want to go for my kid and all of that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Jim. You did it, George. George can either speak Spanish or because because what we want to do, especially it's on BCA TV, the community for the community. Anyone who's watching this show, hopefully, will learn and understand how important it is to be active in the life of their children. Thank you.
Uh, hello, everybody. My name is George. We are from Peru, so we speak Spanish. Now, uh, Daddy is, uh, well, I'm 11 years that experience <laughs> until now. But be the daddy is uh, a wonderful but a hard job every day and every, every time. So uh, it's wonderful because it's amazing every day that we experience all the kind of uh, stuff and doing uh, experience that we can make and we can enjoy with our, our, our kids. And her, because everything changed when they, they, when they arrived to our life, changed everybody, everything. The first thing that we changed in my life was I had, I had a very deep sleep. Now, every single click, I awake. So it changed for us. It's wonderful because we, because we are uh, aware every time, but doing our best for our kids. So I the same thing that the previous that is said. We need to to do the to do them as a best people, a best friends for the community. Thank you. Gracias. Eh, en español me pide Soraya que, que lo, lo, lo mencione. Eh, ser papá es un trabajo muy maravilloso y a la vez también duro. Nuestro punto importante es que hagamos de ellos mejores personas para nuestra comunidad, como lo dijeron anteriormente, y que sean lo más resilientes posibles para que en el futuro tengan un, un, un bienestar. Gracias. Why people, why people want to say, say no. no. They will they try, try, but they're not going to succeed. Go ahead, Mario. Hi, everybody doing? Uh, my name is Mario Lamar. Uh, I worked with kids for over 18 years, and um, it was an amazing experience. And then I became a father, which was two different experiences. I thought <laughs> giving kids back to their parents after they worked with me in youth organization seems to be way easier. With these kids, I can't really give back. But <laughs> with my two sons, I love them to death. Uh, they put me in a position to want more. When you have children, you don't even know what you can achieve or the goals you can reach. Um, that's why they're blessings to me, because they made me find a form of myself that I didn't really know that I had. And becoming a protector, becoming an educator, becoming a father, um, that responsibility alone made me want to wake up every single day. And like he said, when you hear that one little sound as a protector, you got to jump up and make sure everybody's okay. Um, yeah, man. Kids changed my life. My two boys changed my life. Uh, it forced me to start thinking from a different manner, and I appreciate them to death. I love them to death. Uh, fathers, if you don't hear it enough, we love you to death, because a lot of times people don't understand. Society is getting molded based off of the parenting of children and having each other's back. A lot of my boys don't have fathers, and I try to be symbolically their father, so a lot of times I want you guys to understand how valuable you are each time that you wake up, and not only for your direct family, but also the kids that your kids are gonna encounter. So for being here, we appreciate you, we love you, and let's keep going. Thank you so much. So have you seen they are young, they are in the middle, but I do want to acknowledge the presence of Pastor Antonio, late. And I'm going to ask him to come and say a few words. At least one word of wisdom. So that we can make a legacy the same way as you have done. Please give him a big hand. Pastor Antonio, late. Where is Paul? Paul is the Paul is my youngest son. I'm going to translate. I don't know if I have to talk in Creole, the Cabo Verde, Portuguese, or, but he got to do this in English. Eu quero dizer, falar aos pais dizendo que eu sou o pai de seis filhos. 
e mais outra meia dúzia de adotivos. E dou graças a Deus porque, mesmo vivendo entre culturas diferentes, Cabo Verdeana, brasileira e agora americana, os nossos filhos foram criados, mesmo com este choque de cultura, muito ligados à terra, Cabo Verde. Translate. So he was saying that he's the father of six, but then there are several others that were adopted. So we have many, I have many siblings. And um, he was saying that we were uh, raised in different cultures. So the Kiverian culture, the Brazilian culture, and the American culture. But we've always been very connected to the Kiverian culture. Como pastor, Função que eu tenho exercido por 70 anos e Family Counselor, tenho mestrado nesta área justamente para ajudar as famílias. Eu conheço o problema do impacto que sofremos quando mudamos da nossa terra, seja Haiti, seja Porto Rico, seja Peru, Chile, Cabo Verde, para a América do Norte. As a pastor for seven years and a family counselor for all, all those years too, uh, he understands the impact that coming from other, other countries, other communities, it has on families, right? So be it coming from Haiti or com, uh, coming from uh, Spanish-speaking uh, countries or Cape Verde or Portugal, there is an impact when we uh, try to assimilate or we, when we come uh, from overseas, right? There's an impact on the family. Este impacto não só afeta os pais e particularmente as crianças. Chegando à América, dado as circunstâncias económicas, os pais têm de trabalhar e nem sempre em horários mais convenientes para os filhos. E os filhos, quando encaminhados para a escola, sofrem o impacto do que chamam peer, peer, peer pressure. Estão em, em contato com uma coisa tão diferente, que começa na nossa língua, começa na alimentação, e outros hábitos e costumes que se vão adquirindo numa terra estranha. E daí o problema que se põe, sobretudo, quando se chega à adolescência, que para mim é a, a idade mais difícil na, no desenvolvimento de uma criança. E aí é que entram agora os counselors, os professores e os pais em casa. Eu compreendo que nem sempre, dado as circunstâncias económicas que os trabalhos têm que trabalhar, não lhes dão aquela atenção e o cuidado e o tempo que precisam para a educação em casa. Porque o meu conceito é que a escola instrui, a família educa. E nem sempre acontece, porquanto há este desfazamento, há este, este distanciamento entre pais, filhos e a escola. E daí o problema que se põe nos corredores das vossas escolas, nas classes, e o problema, o choque entre professores e alunos muitas vezes. So the transition from uh, one country, uh, one culture to another, to the, our country here, and another culture can be uh, difficult for the adults, for the parents, but especially so for the kids. And, um, you know, as they grow up, as be become adolescents, that's where he thinks, you know, that's uh, especially difficult for the kids. And obviously the parents are working, the parents are trying to make a living, the parents are trying to take care of their families, but then there's this uh, gap 
that, that takes place. Um, and it's a concern, especially as adolescents. So the importance of being involved, being active parents throughout their lives, right? Not just when they're little kids, but also in the adolescent years especially, um, is extremely vital. Um, and he believes that schools are there to instruct, but families, parents are there to educate, right? So you can get the instruction, the academic instruction in school, but the parents are the ones that provide the education at home. De aí, a necessidade deste, de reuniões como esta, e devia ser a maior escala, quando professores ou o staff da educação pudesse estar com os pais para com, considerarem o melhor para os filhos. Neste caso, Peço aos pais que não, não, que não deixem de participar das reuniões de pais. Lá no passado, quando cheguei ao Brasil, aliás, do Brasil à América, I'm Cape Verdean, but I used to live in Brazil, but lá in the past, quando cheguei, fizeram por eleição Parent Advisor Council, the President of the Parent Advisor Council, and I have been in the Master Pass. I used to have meetings. I used to have meetings with the parents. And I think that at that time, the parents were more interested in these meetings. I make an appeal to the parents that they not be like that, that the parents should be like that, that the parents should be like that, that the parents should be like that, that the parents porque a vossa força, pais, a nossa força de pais é tão grande quanto os professores. Eles são pagos para lecionar. Nós somos agora os pais e responsáveis pelos nossos filhos. E temos então, de, para termos este direito, ou exercermos este direito, precisamos participar das reuniões. Yeah, so he was saying that this is why meetings like these are extremely important and we should have uh, more meetings like these with more fathers. Uh, he used to be the president of the Parent Advisory Council, the PAC, years ago. And um, back then there were many parents that used to be involved, more involved. So he's challenging all you fathers, all you parents to become involved, become involved with the schools, become involved with your ch uh, children's ed education. Um, we need more parents like yourselves involved. So hopefully the next time we'll have a much larger event with many, many more fathers, many more uh, mothers, many more parents. That terminated. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Paolo. Um, guys, um, I think Carlos is ready for some music because we're going to be... E D. We're gonna move from this room, and I would love to see all the fa fathers walking through that red carpet. I know one of our friends here, Tatiana. She's here. She's working. Still continue to work. Didn't say anything. Please, George. I don't know if you can, you know, zoom on her right here. Maria, don't. Hey, don't, don't, don't. Marisa, I see her hiding. And there are so many other people who are here who are gonna be saying a few words. So now I think it's time to listen to some music as we walk through getting some food. What do you think, guys? I think that's a good idea. Let's do this. We're gonna say it in other language. No one mash, you're gonna No one mash, you're gonna say it. Mash, you're gonna say it. Mash, you're gonna say it. I'm gonna show you how to walk, guys. All right, so follow, follow Dr. President May, Khalees. And we're going to go get food in the other room and then come back here, right? And we're going to be starting the music. So don't be shy. There's plenty of food in there. And I, it, I think I'm going to be singing because <laughs> they asked me to. Save some for me, please.
Que mostrava esse caminho longe Que mostrava esse caminho longe Esse caminho passa um tomé Que mostrava esse caminho longe Que mostrava esse caminho longe Esse caminho passa um tomé Desde a terra sanicla Soda, soda, soda Desde a terra sanicla Se busca e montas beber Se busca e montas esquecer Até dia que vou voltar Se vos crevê, não tá a escrever Se vos esquecer, não tá a esquecer Até dia que vou voltar Saudade, saudade Saudade, desde a terra sanicla Saudade, saudade Saudade Desde a terra sanita Se vos crevê, não tá a escrevê Se vos esquecê, não tá a esquecê Até o dia que vou voltar Se vos crevê, não tá a escrevê Se vos esquecê, não tá a esquecê Até o dia que vou voltar Saudade 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 Desde a terra sanicla Saudade, saudade Saudade Desde a terra sanicla Saudade, saudade Saudade Desde a terra Cabo Verde All right, thank you. Let's go get some food, huh?
of you are asking for art and craft, here it is, and musical chair. Guys, I have, as I told you earlier, there are important members here in, in this building. Melissa, call Gabby, Kayla, please have a seat for a moment. Thank you so much, and then you're going to continue with it. Jay, come, I know you have a question for me. I'll answer. Once again, thank you for being here today. You speak really loud today. You say that you're here. You say that you need our support. And you're saying that, yes, I am going to be an active member in my child's life. As we stated earlier, it's the first, not the last. And now, I would like to introduce one of the, the dads of all, right? In the public schools. Our student of schools who never fail to invest his time, his energy, and support when it comes to parents. Because he truly understands that with you, we can make history in Brockton. Without further ado, please put your hands together. Let's welcome the superintendent of schools, Michael Thomas. Thank you. Thank you, Soraya. Hi, everybody. Welcome. Thank you for having me here. Um, I apologize for my attire, but I this is about casual Saturday, and I come as I dress, and I'm happy to be out of a suit, actually. So, um, no, thank you for having me. I want to thank. Uh, Mr. John Snellgrove and uh, Paulo Lady uh, Soraya, uh, Tatiana Muniz from the Cavernian Association for putting this event together. So um, thank you so much, because I know how much work goes into this, so we really appreciate it. I also want to say how much I appreciate the relationship the Brockton Public Schools has uh, with the Cavernian Association. Um, it's been for several years now, and over the last um, really 10 years, it's really become stronger. I want to thank Councilor Moses Rodriguez for all he does for the Brockton Public Schools, not only as, not only as a, form, a graduate of the Brockton Public Schools, but as, as a counselor who's always supported the schools, always, um, not only as a counselor, but as a dad and as a community member. So, and then his daughter, uh, Marissa, who runs, who's a teacher for us, and um, runs a summer program through the Cape Verdean Association out of the Gilmore School, which is always very successful. Uh, so Marissa, thank you for all you do. So I just want to say that, um, you know, we've had our struggles over the last few years. Oh, I like that. What is it? That was good timing. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought Groucho Marx was coming. <laughs> so um, we've struggled the last few years with you know bad budgets, and now those days are behind us. Um, but I want to know that Dad's here. I'm a proud dad of three teenage daughters, so you know you can imagine how some of my days are. So <laughs> but um, there's nothing like being a dad. So. For the dads here, thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting, obviously, your children, which you always do, but also the Brockton Public Schools. And nothing is more important than a child's success academically, socially, is the relationship between the school system and the parents. Uh, that's, how, that's how our children really succeed, is when there's a positive relationship between the schools and the parents. And my job is to work with everyone that works for for me to make sure that we're outgoing, we're welcoming, we welcome everyone, and you feel comfortable always working with the school system. And that has to be, that's one of my top priorities, because uh, without that strong bond and strong relationships, we can't move forward as a school system or a community. So I'll stop talking now, because that's enough for me. So I really appreciate you having me here. And again, thank you everyone who has put this together. This is a great event, and I really appreciate you having me here. So. God bless you all. Thank you. Awesome. Of course. 
as I mentioned, um, there are many of you, and I didn't want to say names, so he started it. <laughs> so I'm going to call the counselor. Moses Rodriguez. <laughs> Here he is. One of the proudest of that that I know. Well, thank you, Soraya. Um, first and foremost, I want to thank the uh, Brockton Public School. Um, I've always said that our school system is the best school system, second to none in this country. I'm a proud product of Brockton High School, um, proud product of the city of Brockton, uh, proud product of what we have here today. Uh, as uh, Soraya and, and Mike said, I'm a city councilor here in the city, but more importantly, I run the Cape Verdean Association, which is not just for Cape Verdeans, by the way. I just want to make sure we understand this, that under that symbol of the Cape Verdean Association, you see that it says the Immigrant Assistance Center of Greater Brockton. It has become the center for everybody. If you go into our summer program, the after-school programs that we run, you find Haitian kids, Cape Verdean kids, Brazilian, uh, Anglo kids, uh, Hispanic kids. So it's a, it's a program of Brockton. It basically is a mirror image of Brockton. I too am a father. I have three beautiful daughters, uh, and as uh, Mike said, three beautiful daughters. They will grow into daughters and they will actually start bringing in little ones. I actually have two grandkids now, um, Marissa's son and Megan's uh, son as well. Uh, and it's, it's an honor to be uh, a father, a grandfather, and I have gazillions of other children who uh, I'm a father figure to, and proud to be a father figure to. Uh, but the most important thing about being a dad is not just uh, the guy that made the child, it's not about making babies, because babies now are made in petri dishes. You know, you can go and buy one in the shop, you know, at the store or whatever you need to do to get that. But it's the responsibility of bringing up the child. It's to be present in your child's life. I'm not saying that you need to give up your life to run your child's life, but at the same time, you need to be there. And I think it's important for us dads, especially dads of color, Dads of color you know, in our society, we have a real lousy reputation in terms of that we father children and we take off. We need to be, the, 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 the few of us or the, as many of us that are around need to be around and be visible in our on our children's lives so that they know that there's somebody of a male figure that they can look up to and give a damn about them. And that's the important piece that we need to remember that it's not just about making the child. It's about bringing the child up. It's about caring and assuming the responsibilities that comes along with being, you know, having this title uh, of us being fathers. Because if it's just making it, we can do that again, like I said, at the science lab somewhere and take care of that. So that's why, you know, I'm honored to be here. But uh, again, I just want to sincerely thank the folks in the school system because it shows that you're more interested in doing things beyond the classroom, which is important as well. Because it, the, the fact that you're putting together these types of events and you're bringing people together to realize that there's a lot more that goes into education uh, besides just the classroom. And it's also for you to know that we here, we here in this community will continue to support your school system. Because this school system, like I said, we're the best in the planet. So if we're the best in the planet, we need good people like the ones we see, you see here to be along, to support you, to do the things that we need to do to make sure you succeed in educating our children. And for that, I want to severely, sincerely thank the superintendent, the members of the school committee, um, the folks, John, Soraya, and Paolo, and everybody that's here from the school system for putting this event together for continuing to care about the community beyond the classroom and let you know that we're here for you. Whatever I can do, at whatever capacity I have, I'm here for you to make sure that we support you and continue to do that. 
So I want to thank the parents who are here. I want to thank the kids who are here, BCA for putting this on, and everybody that came out today. Again, a sincere, sincere thank to you guys for putting this on. And God bless you and continue to uh, help make Brockton the best city in the planet. Thank you much. Thank you so much, Marcus. And so now, Mr. Dennis Airy. Dennis Airy. Oh, now I'm parla. No, parlo no parlo italiano. Excuse me. Thank you again for being here. I wouldn't want to repeat any Italian words here today. That's for darn sure. Anyhow, I do want to, um, I thank you, sir, doctor. I really do. I appreciate it. And, and I appreciate being here today. I was invited by uh, John Snellgrove, who I've known for a good many years and been a part of the Brockton Public Schools for a good many years and knew his family as well. And I'm also friends, uh, neighbor friends and good friends, I can say, with Paulo, who's here. And he's a part of the uh, process here, um, became a part of the process here in public school uh, this past year. And we welcome him. And, uh, I know uh, what he's capable of doing, and, and this is just the beginning, I think, because he's a, he's a person that likes to work with the community, and that's, that's his gift, and I don't know, sometime maybe we can get him to get a name on a ballot. We'll have to see about that in the future, but in any case, I served um, on the Brockton Public Schools for over 20 years. None of my colleagues are here to pick up on me, my former colleagues, and, and I was also a city council for, for 18 years representing the people from Ward 3. But I have to say, uh, the greatest of, of what I did in the political process was being a part of the Brockton Public Schools, because you can't say enough about it. And when I was on the school committee, we went through difficult times. We weren't able to do these types of things that we wanted to do uh, back then. And I say back then, in the 80s, early 90s, we had difficult times. Teachers were laid off. Um, classroom size was too large. Uh, we had to find every way that we could get money in from the state, from the federal, and it made it very difficult. It made it very difficult. But at the same time, when we were trying to solve that problem, Brockton was becoming greater populated with more minority population, which was fine. I never had anything in opposition to that type of population coming to the city. I always felt that if it's going to be an urban city, then you work with it. You don't turn away from it, you work with it. And we learned to learn to work with it. We finally did. And, um, and I do have to say, I, may, I make this comment, and, and, and anywhere I go, and I love to be in the place with our minority people because I like to, I like to learn still. But I tell you, the, the children in the minority population, I, I mean, the little boys, the little girls, they're all gorgeous. They really are. They're, they're tremendous. They got a nice smile on their face. They, they always look happy. They always look ready to do something. The same in, in, in my classification as well, but it is a different light when you come into the room. And I think that's what's, uh, that's what's making today bright. And I can foresee that you're going to do something in the future uh, again soon, I hope, I would say, with the mothers and, and more people come in. And uh, anytime I can be of any help, um, I'll definitely be a part of it. And I'm very, very good friends with uh, uh, Councilor Rodriguez. I, I knew him before he became a council and he worked under Mayor Harrington. So. Uh, you know, we'll be here, and we'll be here to help, and I'm sure others will too. So I don't want to take up time. I have a habit of talking too loud. But I, again, I thank you, and I appreciate uh, being a part of uh, the fun function today. Very good. It's a good one. Thank you. How about some music? All right. Well, all right, let's liven it up. Feel free to dance. <laughs> Do we have some? Yes. What's that? Mrs. Pialo is going to be passing around some flowers, the next activity that, that we have. We're going to have a community egg hunt um, soon on April 9th at the Gilmore School, so, and also some resources that Brockton Public School has that maybe you don't even know. So hopefully you'll take advantage of that. Thank you. Pia, Pia Lulucha, Corda Boya, O Crecio Tabae. Pia, Pia Lulucha, Corda Boya, 
pokreće od tabaj Tabaj, 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 bog i mrava Da pa sapam i delu, tam kada čora Tabaj, 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 bog i mrava Da pa sapam i delu, tam kada čora Bog i ja, vojnja konsolansa Vojnja perdisao, vojnja kozinja popa Vojnja konsolansa, vojnja perdisa, vojnja kozinja potva Bajta, bajta, baj, bog i brava, da pa sapam i delu, da kad na čora Bajta, bajta, baj, bog i brava, da pa sapam i delu, da kad na čora Yes, we have a dad that wants to say something. Please come up. Thank you. Bonsoir à tous les parents et tous les dirigeants de l'école publique de Boston. Good evening, good afternoon to all the parents and people that live in Boston here. Did you hear me? Good afternoon to all the parents and people that live in Bogotá that are here. Moi content na mitan non je dis ya comme parent pour participer na événement ça parce que Madame Docteur Soraya invité moi pas jamais capable de prendre présent mais je dis ya moi content moi là. I am very happy to be here with you because uh, Mrs. Soraya Soraya. I've been invited me, but I couldn't make it, but today I had the chance to be here. Maintenant, qui ça, ça représente pour moi d'être parent ou bien père? Bon, un monde qui vient, qui est papa, c'est une chance. Et deuxièmement, c'est une grosse bénédiction. Et troisièmement, il y a un papa qui fait pour lui responsable. Being a father is a blessing and you have a lot of responsibility and you are willing to feel moi-même, moi, je suis moins fier parce que avec mes deux enfants, Ingrid et Carl Olivier, moi, apprends un peu le bagaille. I can tell you that I'm very proud with my two children, Ingrid and Olivier, parce que moi, apprécie ils ont pire. Oh, because, because, because I've learned a lot from them. Pour ne pas trop long, ce n'est pas la première occasion que je viens pour prendre la parole parce que je connais les arrivées qui ont pile par un peu de rentrer dans l'activité. 
Moi, je dis nous merci et m'a apprécié et fort. Docteur Soraya, qui c'est une route travailleuse, il n'a jamais manqué l'occasion pour lui inviter les parents pour les rencontrer et ses parents qui ont fait cause de l'avancée. Encore, bonne chance à tous les dirigeants. Merci à tout le temps chacun pour avoir répondu présent ce jour. Merci. I don't want to be long because uh, everybody needs to be out to go on with the activities, uh, start the activities. And uh, I have uh, I have to honor Dr. Sawaya for uh, tirelessly work um, within the within the Bogdan community. Thank you so much. Of observing the hypocrites as they were sit and mingle with the people we meet. Good friends we had, oh, good friends we lost along the way. In this great future, you can't forget your past. So dry it is, I say. No woman, no cry. No woman, no cry. No woman, no cry. I said, no woman, no cry. Said I remember. When we used to sit in the government yard and trench down, and then Georgie would make a fire light, log wood burning through the night. Good friends we had, oh, good friends we lost along. You can't forget your past So dry your tears, I say No Thank you, 
I, I, I'm going to miss a few names. Um, I have my list, but for some reason I don't know where it is. Um, fathers, all of you who came here, I'm not going to say your names. I apologize. But then again, know that we are thankful. The kids wanted to have the musical chair. Here we go. I don't know if Joshua is singing for the musical chair. Let's do this and then we are out. Thank you. The Brockton Public School loves you and thank you. Annie, once again, chapeau bas.